first of all, you got to understand why you have an inverter. You have an inverter to turn your DC into AC. DC, direct current, always at the same voltage, always from 12 volts or 24 volts or 100 volts or whatever you have to ground to, to, to the common side of the circuit. But AC cycles back and forth from above zero volts to, to minus volts and back to zero again, and it keeps doing that. Um, this debate goes way back to Westinghouse and Edison back in the 1800s. The thing is that AC voltage has less loss in transmission, and so that, that's why the grid chose AC. That's thing number one. You lose less, especially when the voltage is high, you lose less power to the ether, you know, you, there's always power losses, um, but you'll use less, lose less with AC. The other thing is, AC is easy to transform from one voltage to another, and DC is a pain in the ass to transform one, from one voltage to the other. So, <clears throat> that's why there is even AC. But since there is AC, and since it's in everybody's house, a lot of the stuff you buy is going to be AC, so you need an inverter to match that. The inverter is an electronic piece of equipment. It's, the power company does not use electronics to make AC. They use a rotating generator, dynamo, um, and, it come, and, it, and it's easy to make nice sinusoidal AC. You know, when I say sinusoidal, it's like it follows, uh, this is a little bit of math, but it follows the curve of a sine wave. Um, and it's nice and smooth, and it's... Um, absolutely spot on and um, and it makes great power so thing so everybody designs equipment to run on that so you buy an inverter it could be a square wave inverter some things aren't going to run on a square wave inverter because they're expecting a sinusoidal wave so you and these want are the cheaper ones probably that the, you might see for 29.99 right walmart or harbor freight or something and what they're really going to hate is electric motors did you fried one trying to run a sawzall or something on like on us yeah. yeah on an inverter i did um just this afternoon i was running a jigsaw on mine it's a pure uh true not pure true sine wave inverter and the and the electronics in it are robust enough to not fry when they see an electric motor electric motors put a lot of garbage onto the line, you know, because they have brushes and stuff and the voltage is spiking up and down. I mean, if you ever put one on an oscilloscope, it looks like hell. So this is a thing people don't understand. Um, the load you're trying to drive has a lot to do with what you need for an inverter. So if you want to run anything at all, you need a true sine wave inverter and you're going to pay more for it. I think mine was six or seven hundred dollars. What kind of things... <clears throat> Uh, computers, laptops, cell phones, they don't need the sine wave. They don't. LED they, lights, right? Not anymore. They sure don't. No. So wh um, where would you start to worry? With like power tools or a vacuum machine? Anything with a motor. Anything with a motor. I would worry about. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to do anything with a, if you want to use anything with a motor, you yeah. might as well spend the money on a sine wave. Right. But that would include things like vacuums, things like power tools, a compressor. Mm. We have a compressor that we run sometimes. Right. Um, and compressors not only have motors, but they have high starting load motors. So they, they so that 2,000 watts might jump to 3,000 watts, but that inverter will take that. It'll take up to 6,000 watts for short periods of time. And I don't, and by short periods of time, I don't mean a half hour. I mean like four seconds. So. Okay. So in your opinion, a sine wave and inverter seems like it's the way to go, really. I mean. If you want a cabin where you can just plug in anything that you could plug in and you're on the grid house, yeah. Pure um, sine wave. Pure sine wave. True sine wave. True, True sine, sine wave. wave. True sine wave. Uh, more sophisticated electronics, more built-in protection to f not fry the electronics.